I love when you're ready, you just... Yeah, because I never know if you're gonna start talking or not, and I can't be like, you know, if you start talking and then we have to start again. So if I'm already just staring at the com computer, <laughs> the camera smiling awkwardly, then when you start, then we just start. Right. 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 Hi, I'm Ashley. I'm Courtney. And we're CA in LA. Courtney and Ashley in Los Angeles. We're best friends, filmmakers, and musicians. Today, we are going to be watching the trailer for Queen Pins. All right, what do you think it's about? They're pro bowlers. Ooh, uh, I like that. I don't know what the storyline is after that, but can I just leave it at that? Like, that's just, they're, okay, fine, if I have to come up with something. So they're, she didn't even say no. They're pro bowlers and they're working ahead to be the best bowling league in North Dakota. But then somehow they get tied up in this like strange drug lord voodoo, you know, like kingpin, like queen pin, and mm. they get dragged into this whole thing and then it's a cover up and then the main thing is the bowling. And they're like, but we have to prepare for this tournament. So it's like a double feature type thing. Okay. It's like Alley Cat Strike. Oh, for adults. I All thought right. you were gonna read what it was about after I explained what I thought it was about and then watch the trailer. I was, but then we're just gonna try this and we're gonna see how it, how it lands. Let's do it. I don't want to let that visual go. I want to hold on to that. Okay. I need that for myself. <laughs> All right. All right, boys. Lock and load. So what do we do? All right, here's your drugs. Gun runners, gun dealers. It's two women who are counterfeiting coupons. <laughs> that feels like a lot. You don't think we're coming in a little hot here, boss? <laughs> Orders 138 55 cents. Is it? It's like a thousand coupons. Your trophy. I yo, love yo, that. Yo, 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 it's time to save a JoJo. Is it hot in here? Or is it just me? It's you. Mom! We have a mountain of death. Is this the best we're ever gonna do? How come I'm so broke? The system has set us up to fail. You know who gets rewarded? People who don't follow the rules. You ain't lying. It's time we start That's bending them a little. <gasps> Where did you get these? When you send these companies a complaint, they send you a coupon for free stuff. All of these free coupons come from one factory. It's like Robin Hood. We gotta steal these coupons and sell them to families who really need them. That's money in the bank. Oh my gosh. It was based off a true story. Let's go. Please transition. Yes! <laughs> I am the loss prevention officer. Thousands of these coupons are getting mailed out all over the country. We need boots on the ground ASAP. Oh, baby. Simon Kilmer, a U.S. Postal Inspector. He said that they were sending the FBI. What stacked. do you do? You carry mail around or something? That would be a mailman. They carry the mail. I carry a gun. We are investigating a counterfeit coupon ring, costing companies tens of millions of dollars. We need someone who's had experience with this sort of thing. We've got to spread this shit out. I'm talking bank accounts. Look at her. Cars, Let's go. House, and aliases. Could you say it all again and like much slower? And do you have like a pad just to write it down? No. Get out. Oh, we don't <laughs> wing it, but we got it. We got it. <laughs> you got to let me in on this thing. Who's the girl, Earl? I think it's pretty clear that Earl doesn't know. Anything. Call a sketch artist. Call a sketch artist? Yeah, like, I... Who do you think she is? Kaiser Soze? <laughs> oh, my God. Queen pins, bitch. Coupons aren't about what you buy. It's about the feeling you get. They call it the coupon high. Supposedly it's better than intimacy with another person. <laughs> so I've been told. Sorry, I, have you not used a coupon or have you not had sex? Did, what happened? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> The website is way too easy to trace back to you. Is there anything else I should know about? I don't think so. No. Well, yo, 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 it's time to say with JoJo. I mean, how could they trace it? Get back to your yeah, face. My, yeah, my face. Is right <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, not the bowling thing that I had predicted. This is much better. That's great. Coupons? Really? I love that it's based off a true story. That is yeah. just like, get your bag, hustle. That was amazing. <laughs> what on earth? All right, let's let's read what it, what it is. A frustrated suburban housewife and her best friend hatch an illegal coupon club scheme that scams millions from corporations <sighs> and delivers deals to legions of fellow coupon clippers. Hot on their trail is an unlikely duo, a hapless loss prevention officer and a determined US postal inspector, both looking to end their criminal enterprise. That looks hilarious. I 
Love that. <laughs> so almost, I was wrong on both fronts, but that's okay. We, we thought I was right at, at first with the, the drug thing, then you said no, couponing. <laughs> So I, I definitely know of someone that is, uh, I wouldn't say an extreme couponer, but a very passionate and a Passion. very successful couponer. And I also like that they're obviously doing this for the greater good and sending this out to people in need. It's not just like they're doing it for themselves, which just gives it a little wholesome thing. Like, come on, don't take them down. But that looks hilarious. That looks so good. Yeah, the cast looks wonderful. It looks great. I feel like he's the same person in, like he's Vince Vaughn. Listen. Uh, uh, have you not seen Dodgeball? I thought Hello? you were going to say Wedding Crash. I was about to be like, Ashley, please. That was my um, second. Oh. <laughs> I'm hoping that it's going to be different. All right. This is the time in which we score. I give it an eight um, for the snowman. Oh, yeah. can I, can we just give him, I'm sorry. Are you drawing a hat? No, just one little hair. I don't know where the hair came from okay, or if like, that's even sustainable, but... But like logistically, where where did you get that? Because this could be like rocks, you know? And then I made it a little crooked because I never roll them into a actual... It's never a neat ball. It's never a neat ball, you know? I don't know where the hair came from. Yeah, I'm, okay. I'm sure so maybe it's it like... your lawn somewhere. Maybe it's like a little little could leaf. Be bean sprout? Yeah, okay. A bean... Find it on your lawn. Wait, do we have a bean sprout? We have like... We don't even have a lawn. <laughs> 75 plants in this house, and I don't even know where we would obtain that. Well, I didn't know we were speaking like truly logically here. It could just be, you know... <laughs> Anyways, Anyways, so I, I give this an eight. I think it looks great. I've realized on this, my third or fourth score, that I am a very strict grader, and I probably wouldn't be a good judge that was well-liked if I was on The Voice. If you gave a 10, I'd be like, that's the one. And then I would probably severely judge the thing that you gave a 10, which has nothing to do with you. That's like my own personal bias, which I think is a lot of us. You've already given out a 10 though. No, I know. I'm saying if you were to be on a show, you would be the one that they would want a 10 from you. But then if you gave a 10 that wasn't to them, they would judge the heck out of whoever you gave a 10 to, which is like more saying stuff about them than you. Yeah, I see like that's like a psychological thing and we're yes. not, well, that's like another video. Okay, go on. I give it a nine. I would not be trampling over anybody to see it because I just don't usually roll that way with comedy in general, but I think it's a nice change. I just, I love the concept so much. I love that it's couponers. And I also don't feel like it's going to be one of those comedies that just leans totally raunchy either. Yeah. Which I really appreciate. So yeah. for those reasons, a nine and a side of bean sprout. For Amberton. For Amberton. <laughs> Yeah, I like, I think I gave it an eight too, because like, it looks funny, but it's not anything I'm going to be like, set the calendar and like, right. wait for it to come out. Yeah. No, no, I, I get that. I agree with that. Eight. What I'm going to laugh at is if our like numbers don't show up or they're not in focus. That's I hilarious. Didn't that. I didn't either until right now. So that's cool. It's okay. You know what? I'll, I'll make some PNGs for us and then we'll be like eight and it'll be like, bing. It's fine. Eight. We don't even need to worry about it. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> That's something in post, you just go. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, are you a couponer? Are you a couponer? Do you want to get into couponing after you've seen this? I don't. I would just end up with so much unnecessary stuff. I won't lie. I was obsessed with extreme cheapskates on TLC for a really long time. So like that's where I wanted to be a couponer. Yeah, for me, I was kind of turned off by the person who was like, I use my toilet water to shower. Then I was like, okay. Okay, well, we're talking about couponing. Not no, necessarily I know, but like you, that. I was piggybacking off the TLC thing. Cool, cool, cool. Anyway, are you a couponer? Do you want to get into couponing or anything like that either way let us know what you guys think of the trailer yeah what's your score what is what's your in score? your wallet oh not much nice actually <laughs> yeah do not forget to like and subscribe thank you so much for watching this trailer reaction with courtney and ashley and we'll see, <laughs> we'll see we'll see you, you in the next soon. video thanks, thanks for, for watching, watching.